Uh, so basically, this is business now. I run one of the biggest and the number one entertainment company in Kenya. So what's going to happen is, before we start, you guys will pick your, your team members. So we should have a land up interviews, radio interviews, because I think that's the easiest thing we can do. Okay. So I'm doing this with the, with the aesthetic feel kit. You're going to handle the digital posters and the invites because the party is going to have like, you know, the who's who they're going to come listen to the track. So apart from Zazi, I was thinking of Molly Murich on Homeboys Radio 103.5. She has a very big show, class one to four. So and on Tuesday, they do a music review. Apparently, management here gives her a feature. Oh, management here. In the winner why they are the most tough management. No. They are tough. Okay. It's a Nigerian brother. Nigerian brother. Like, so how is this uh, uh, how is this project going to help me? Okay. <laughs> I'm really proud of Team B man. They're doing a good job. I mean this is it's amazing. It's I mean I used to do nights here man. I never used to pack it like this, so I'm I'm quite impressed. Team is listening party, the branding beat was amazing. They did a very good job. I like the way they sold out Timmy's image from when you stepped into the club to the stage and when you walked out. Uh, but the other side where they fail a bit is the people they invited because uh, they just invited the normal guys who listen to Timmy's brand. <laughs> Being the first time to manage an artist, to make sure I can be stuck up there. Especially the, the event side, ah, it was very, very perfect. Mwah! Perfecto! I've never met her before, so it was the first time that I got to see her live and meet her in person. Um, the song's awesome, it's got a great vibe. I can say yes, confidently. Yeah, we achieved the vision that King Kaka set. Um, I know we are the winning team. These contestants only had 48 hours to do this. And as from what I saw, is uh, they've never done this before. They portrayed uh, a famous brand, uh, or rather they exposed famous brand to a different audience, which is a, which, which was a key thing you wanted. I think being that they only had like a few days to put it together, I'm very proud of them, what they've achieved, uh, being able to get sponsors and I'm really proud of both teams and, and um, it's really up to the judges to be able to kind of just judge and, uh, and see what happens. Welcome to the first show of Blaze BYOB. Today, it's one of my favorite business spots, Vision. It's about business vision. Vision is the ability to see things for not what it is now, but what they could be in the future. You were given two fantastic artists. Femi One, Temi Tida, and your job was to extend their brand beyond the current base. Do you believe you had good team leaders? Yes. Who did your artist interview with? Whoa, tough cookie. How did that go? Well, um, I feel you're trying to make your plan B sound like plan A. The fact is, the early bird catches the wall, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys should have been there first, 
Okay. No, no, let's move on. Was it successful? Number one, rated out of ten. Considering you know who was invited late, but we're moving on. It was over hundred. Because some are numbers. About the specific numbers. numbers. It's all about numbers. Entertainment is all about numbers. It's over. Really? I can say over hundred. Over. Yeah, because there are some others who can really add it. They are up. They you are like that. Huh? You don't have the actual number. I don't have the actual number because I was the part left out. Over hundred years old. The show was amazing and uh, very relatable. I, uh, at first, when I saw the ads, I couldn't really get it. But now, after seeing the premiere of the show, it was very nice and relatable. My name is Bran Gusero. Um, I like the show. I think it was very interesting, very human. I'm watching the contestants go through all that. Um, I've learned, I guess, about teamwork. I think it's important um, to function as a unit rather than as an individual. I think it's an amazing platform for the young people um, just to get to get them in the in the mindset of being business people and, and chasing after their dreams. First of all I'd like to say that the show is actually really interesting and but I feel like the judges are a bit biased at some point. I'll say I love the show because it's a good platform for the youth to come and pitch in their ideas and then you know you get mentors who are gonna help you along the way and out of all that, you're going to get money to start your own business. But um, I'm not so happy because uh, I didn't like the way the judgment was made today by the judges. Because personally, if, I, if I'm a boss, I'm going to fire someone who, who doesn't work with others. Not someone who's there because he was asking, let's say he was asking why, why they were judging him due, due to the numbers. It doesn't add up. Numbers don't say anything. The show is different in, in terms of uh, it gives people, us, the youth, you know, we have ideas, but you don't know where we're going to start this just to, to make those ideas come in, to become dreams. So it's a good platform because we have mentors who are going to guide you all, along the way. You're going to, and after all that, you're going to get money to start your business. We all know everyone has has ideas and dreams they want but they don't have the money at the end of it so I think it's a good platform um, obviously one person is going to walk away a winner but what we actually say is that everyone who of them will walk away with something uh, whether it's some funding for the business idea that they have uh, or whether it's just the exposure that we're going to give them through this show for them to be able to connect with people who can be able to help them uh, realize some of the business potential that they have so once this uh, uh, finishes we're going to go into another set of activities uh, on the Blaze platform and then probably later on uh, this year we run the show again. Uh, as you've seen uh, from the show, uh, next, uh, the next challenge is going to be around something uh, to do with agriculture. How do they leverage uh, pricing to be able to give them a competitive advantage? But I wouldn't give you all the, all the challenges, otherwise I'll be giving away the show.